Hey YouTube, Safety here. Just doing a video on my new Midland um, handheld CB radio. It's a two-in-one, so it can go portable in a vehicle using a DC cigarette adapter and um, a little antenna for on top of your car. It, it works really well, and I've set up my house as a portable unit with the wagon power dome as its power. Um, right now, it's running on. Let me turn this down. Right now it's running on AA batteries that are rechargeable and this little bottom part right here is a button that allows it to slide off. Let me turn it off. You'll see that this allows it to... I was doing it earlier. Just Alright, so it does take two hands to loosen it, but now that I've gotten it apart I can actually take the base off. And then you have this little handheld unit. And if you unscrew the antenna as well you can drop it down to just a little handheld device, and that's where this device comes in handy right here. Oh. Alright, so it's pretty quick to attach. It's the exact same way I took it off. You attach the bottom there. Plus, I bought this Midland speaker that you see in the background, and I plugged the audio right into the top of there, and it's nice because it just clips on the back since you're not using it for your pants. It works really nicely to hold it, and you can still hit the button right here, no problem. Now we'll see, we'll turn this on. Now see the signal strength? Well, I can also get a lot louder. Sorry if that was too loud. Um, but I've got a, a solid signal strength on all my channels. Well, the first six at least. But those are all the ones in this area. Coming off the top of mountain. I mean, that's only two miles away, but I have a perfect signal. So anyone... I mean, I see it's like three or four miles of anyone putting out a broadcast in my town. I can at least get to them, possibly, um, in the event of an emergency. And this is all powered off. There's no, there's no outlet plugged in. This is all just, and I'm, all right, so here's, here's my setup. I've got my power dome here, and it's being charged. Ooh, it's being charged right here. You can see the light. And that's charging off the CB on the right, or this uh, DC on the right. And then I've got this guy plugged right into here, right off the back of battery, which is being charged, so, you know, during the daytime, I'm really not wasting anything. And I've got a voltmeter right in between, so I can see exactly where I'm at with charge. And then I've got this guy charging, um, which is my spotlight, which you can see works very well. And it's also got a bonus little light there but um, that's charging down here as well you see I have this extra one what's nice is if I really wanted to I could unplug this from here drop it right down here and if I didn't take away so much cord when I was messing around here I'd be able to plug this right into there now, you see I lose some signal, because I'm just not using as much, let me show you, watch, let's see if this works, uh, you don't really see it, I don't have enough power coming through here, so I don't have good a signal, but uh, technically I can run just off solar power if I wanted to, so if I wasn't lugging this thing around, and I just wanted to grab four or five solar panels real quick, slide them in a bag and run off with this, I'd actually be able to um, get the weather. And it's technically a CB radio, so if I wanted to, and I could scan for 40 channels and pick up anyone that's broadcasting a, a distress signal in any sort, um, if they have these solar power backpacks, I might look into some of them if they have good enough solar power panels um, to generate the electricity while I'm you know, backpacking and running around with a walkie-talkie, I think it'd be pretty cool. No batteries, um, backups here. They, it also comes with a, uh, this is an 8 battery. It comes with a 6 AA battery, which is really nice because you can pack them both full of rechargeable batteries. It really doesn't matter and have extra backups to go. Plus this, I mean, this is like the Swiss army knife of CB radios. I recommend every everyone looking into CB radios to pick one of these up first. 
it's it's inexpensive, um, fairly inexpensive compared to other CB radios. It works really well, and you can um, just play with it to get the hang of it and see if it's really for you or not. Um, otherwise, you guys know my setup, and uh, stay safe, YouTube. Peace.